Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you're probably aware, this is important to talk about. Celebrities are a big part of a show like this one, all right? We do our little comedy, and I do my little ha-ha, and I get my little chuckaloos. That's, that's entertainment talk for laughs, okay? But we really need the celebrities. They're here day in and day out. They make up a lot of the show. They're the, they're the guests. That's what really, that's the foundation of the show. And that's why we always do our best to make sure that the guest visits to our program are pleasant and comfortable. But sadly, once in a while, something happens during an interview or behind the scenes, and somebody gets a little upset with us. One of the celebrities gets a little mad or feels hurt. Folks, when this happens, I always make sure that I write an apology letter so we can smooth over any hurt feelings right away. Maybe get them back. Isn't that a nice thing to do? Thank you. All right, that was, no, don't applaud it. That would be sad. But anyway, <laughs> just setting up a bit here, folks. Anyway, uh, it's, it's a, I think it's a nice thing to do. I think it's the right thing to do. So I thought it would be fun tonight to take a look back at some of these notes that I've sent over the last few years in a little segment we're gonna call Late Night Apologies. Is that nice? <laughs> Our first apology should be for that song, I think. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry. These are apology letters I've written to try and make it up to guests. Like, for example, President Bush, uh, you know, has been on our show before. I don't know if you saw that one. It was a good one. It was delayed by a high lie that night, I think. <laughs> anyway, President Bush was on the show, and, um, and then something happened. He's, he's not sometimes that happy with us, so I wrote him an apology letter. And it goes like this. Dear President Bush, I'm sorry I routinely mock you and belittle your intelligence on national television. I will try not to let it happen again. Sincerely, Conan O'Brien. P.S. Please thank Vice President Dick Cheney for reading this to you. Hope that he, uh... Uh, Luciano Pavarotti was on the show not too long ago, and he got kind of mad about something, so I wrote him an apology letter. Dear Luciano, we didn't mean to imply anything when we filled your refrigerator with diet soda. If we really thought you were overweight, we wouldn't have also provided those nine deep-fried oxen. Sincerely, Conan O'Brien. Because he's a... Uh, he's a big fat fatty, all right. Wait, why were you mad and then happy again? That's crazy. Um, from, the, uh, from the Backstreet, well, this is a letter I had to write to the Backstreet Boys because they got sort of upset. So anyway, it went like this. Dear fellows, sorry I assumed you were all gay just because the first two of you that I met were making out. Hone it. They were. They were really going at it, too. All right. Here's one. Here's an apology a letter I had to write to Puff Daddy. I had to write him. An, and you want to apologize to that guy. Okay, here we go. Dear sir, I'm sorry that the nameplate on your dressing room didn't feature your new name, P. Diddy, but when we called to order it, they just hung up laughing. Oh, no. I'm calm. Uh... Here's one I had to write to Jenna Bush. Sort of, uh, <laughs> sort things out. Dear Jenna, please accept my apologies for my embarrassing slip up. It was certainly not my intention to introduce you the other night by saying, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anheuser Bush. <laughs> Yours truly, Conan O'Brien. Why does my stationery keep changing? All right. Uh, <laughs> Here's one I had to write to David Spade, because he was kind of mad at me after he was on the show. David, that's right, here it goes. Dear David Spade, I'm sorry the cleaning lady vacuumed you when she was cleaning the guest chair last week. Thank God you were able to crawl out of the bag and make it to safety. Yours truly. Uh, like a little bird. All right, and finally, I had to write, this is the last one, but I had to write an apology letter to Christina Aguilera. 
Yeah. And um, wait, you're booing that I apologize or just Christi who knows anymore? I'm tuning them out. It's the letter I sent to, apology note I sent to Christina Aguilera. Dear Ms. Aguilera, sorry we couldn't provide the makeup you had requested for your appearance. The truck filled with horror paint was stuck in traffic. Well, on that note, what better time to throw to my next guest than with the phrase whore paint? We'll take a little break. When we come back, Tom Brokaw will clean up our act.